Hello, good evening and welcome to the Houseborns World YouTube channel. Hopefully by now you have got your hands on Dirt Rally 2 and you are racing it through the stages, slipping through the mud and hovering over the tarmac like a hovercraft. But with all that said, have you calibrated your wheel? Of course you're going to say, yes I've calibrated my wheel, but have you? because it's pretty hard to find and I struggled finding this myself and I've actually saw a lot of people asking how do I calibrate my wheel in Dirt Rally 2? Well, to save you the strain, I have already done it and if you follow my quick guide, hopefully you can get your wheel set up even better to enjoy the minimalistic force feedback currently. No, I kid you. Uh, Codemasters haven't released the patch as yet, as I've seen, I've loaded up Steam tonight, there's no patch. So hopefully they don't change the menus, because as I mentioned, a lot of people have been struggling to find out how to calibrate the wheel in the game. But anyway, without me rambling, let's get on with it. Okay, so here we are signing into Dirt Rally 2. And to go to the wheel calibration menu, what we're going to do is go into the options and extras menu. We are then going to go over to the one that says input and it's got the picture of the wheels and the pedals on it. If you click on that, you can then see that I've got two devices connected, the keyboard and my Logitech G27 which is just here. And it is highlighted as the primary steering device. Now logically, if you clicked into that, you'd think that the wheel calibration would be within these settings here, but they're not. So what you need to do is go back and where we've got the device selected, hover over it to highlight it. And right down here at the bottom, there is something that says device options. If you click into that, you can then see that you can load the device preset or you can calibrate the device. So this is where you calibrate your wheel and pedals. So if I click that, it's saying to calibrate the steering full lock, turn the steering wheel to full lock in either direction and hold it there and press continue. Now on their screen, they're telling me to turn it to the right. So I'm gonna turn my wheel all the way to the right and my wheel, it's just how it always does in the simulations, registers 99% and I'm going to press enter. I then need to hold the steering wheel at 90 degrees in either direction, hold it there and press continue. Now, this is confusing to a lot of people. So the Logitech G27 is a 900 degrees of motion from lock to lock wheel. So if I start turning the steering wheel back, you can see that if I keep turning it, it goes from 181 one side to 181 on the other side. So essentially, I've got to get it back near the middle so that it's then at 90 degrees. So because the wheel is a 900 degree wheel, I need to get that to 900. Now sometimes, if you've moved the wheel in one direction and back in the other, and it just seems to be the G27 does this, you can't get it to exactly 900. Uh, I can get it to 899 or 901 by the look of it. So we'll push enter. It's not quite smack on. I have got it to 900 previously. I'll show you that again in a minute. Then you want to calibrate your pedals. So, because I've got the clutch, the brake and the accelerator, depress all your pedals as far as possible and then press any button. Now, unless you've got three feet, you're not going to be able to do all of them at once. Or you could sort of heel and toe on the brake and do the clutch. But... If I push my pedal down to maximum, that registers 100% on the accelerator or the throttle 
or if you're an American, we call it the gas. If I do the same for the brake, 100%, and the clutch, 100%. I'm guessing is all it wants you to do is register the full travel, and you can also check yourself that if you're putting your clutch fully down and it's not reading 100, something's wrong with the calibration between the pedal and the software itself. But as that's all clear and good, I'm going to put continue and your wheel calibration is complete. And when you turn your wheel back to centre, it should be reading zero. And then you can push the pedals down and check that they are all correct. And the calibration is complete. So at that point, we just go back and our job is done. So if this video has helped you out, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and please subscribe. If you're new to my channel, I cover simulators, PC gaming, and computers in general. I'm also an absolute car enthusiast. Thank you for watching, and I will see you very soon in the next one.